Our next guest is David Scotton. We'll be watching a short video before he speaks, but let me give you a little bit of background about David. His adoption story is the subject of a new documentary film entitled I Lived on Parker Avenue. The film was an official 2017 selection for the DocuSlate New Filmmakers Film Festival in Los Angeles and has been endorsed by adoption groups across the country, including the National Council for Adoption. He has been a keynote speaker at more than 75 events. He has traveled across the country showing and telling his story, and it's my privilege to welcome David to the stage today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna hop on a train, and I will meet my birth parents for the first time. This has been 19 years in the making, and I'm extremely nervous. I want to see what he looks like in person, his voice, his smile, my hug, I've been waiting. Kind of wonder, you know, does he hate us? You know, I think it's caused a lot of depression from time to time. The reality is David was seconds, literally, for not being here. It's kind of a bittersweet because I wanted him. We're going to all fill in this missing piece of the puzzle that has been in all three of our lives. It's going to be an overwhelming experience. I'm nervous, but I'm really excited. might have been. So that's our trailer. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is David Scotton, and I'm a second year law student at Louisiana State University back home in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I am the subject of a film called I Lived on Parker Avenue. And the story is why I'm here today. Back in 1993, Melissa and Brian were 18 years old. They were seniors in high school. They weren't married, they didn't have any money saved, and Melissa was pregnant. And so they easily decided that the simple solution would be abortion. So they decided to go into the abortion clinic, but to get into the clinic, they had to pass the usual pro-life protesters that were praying for them and talking to them from the sidewalk. And one woman from the sidewalk told Melissa that her baby had 10 fingers and 10 toes. And Melissa still proceeded inside the clinic, but as she sat down on the abortion doctor's table, ready to abort her child, she thought back to what the lady outside the clinic had told her and realized that her baby was real, that her baby was special, and that her baby was meant for someone special. And so she left and decided to choose the adoption option. And that's how I'm able to be here today. I was that child 24 years ago. And that's my story. And this film has been a huge part of my identity for the past five years. I Live in the Parker Avenue is the real life reunion. The real life reunion uh, of my biological family and me. I got to thank the woman who left the clinic and chose adoption. I got to see what their lives are like. My family got to thank them. My parents got to thank them for the gift of their only child. My grandparents got to thank them for the gift of their only grandchild. And so for the past five years, I have been traveling the country sharing the adoption message, sharing the truth of adoption, the fact that it's not always positive. There's some negative in adoption, right? And that's just the reality that we face with the adoption option. But in the end, adoption is the only reason that I was given life. And that's what we're trying to do with I Lived on Parker Avenue. So it is an incredible honor to follow U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham, to be here at the Family Research Council, and to be able to share this message with each and every one of you. We've used online activism to share this message. We could have gone the Netflix route. We could have gone a theater route. And that's not what we want to do. I don't want to be a celebrity, ever. What we want to do is share the message to as many people as possible. 
And so we decided to go online with it. So six months ago, maybe eight months ago, I don't know at this point, we announced the film for the first time. And so we are running on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, all that good stuff. And uh, we are actively screening in high schools across the country. We were in Colorado last week, California the week before that, and now we're in Washington, D.C. And the feedback has been amazing. Through online activism, we specifically have targeted people on the fence about the abortion and adoption issue. And people who have also expressed interest in adoption. And so Facebook gave us a pool of two million people um, to send this message to. And so we fundraised around Louisiana, even outside of Louisiana, to be able to do this. And together with the support and prayers of so many people, this product has been a, a labor of love. And we go online March 8, 2018 for free for everyone to see. So how you can help us today is by sharing our trailer on Facebook. We have over 360,000 trailer views, and um, that's, how we're gonna, that's what we're doing going forward. And so we're going to continue to do screenings. In March 8, 2018, please share the full film. It's only 30 minutes. And with your help and with your prayers, of course, we are going to make an impact on this culture, on the power of adoption. So thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you so much for all you do for this cause. I'm behind it 110%. And with all of our help, we're going to make an impact on adoption. Thank you so much.